You know, it's been so long since I've done one of these budget build-offs that I can't quite remember how they're supposed to begin. Oh, that's right. Initiate the introduction! That doesn't sound right. Welcome back to the Scaled Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. It's episode one of the Axial SCX24 budget build off. I'm doing this in conjunction with Harley Designs, who is also on YouTube. You might follow his channel already. If you don't, there's a link down below where you can check out his first video. If you're not familiar with the budget build format, there are some things that we should go over before we get started because the inevitable question comes up. How can this possibly be a budget when you spend so much money on one truck. Well, it's not a budget in that we are trying to be cheap. It's a budget in that we are setting a certain dollar amount every week. And that's something that you need to remember. Here's some handy bullet points. This is a series where we upgrade on a set weekly budget. So Josh and I have decided to spend $50 per week on the SCX24. Yes, it sounds like a lot, and it is, especially considering we're doing this over eight weeks. Uh, so that's $400. Man, that's a lot of money. Um, but you'll see that actually this $400 will go very far. Uh, it's almost far enough that you could buy two or three more SCX-24s. <laughs> but the object here is to make this truck better and to put some personality into it. So, of course, we're going to be starting with a brand new Axial STX-24. This is the Deadbolt Edition, and uh, it is one of the more value-based uh, STX-24s. It's certainly cheaper than the Betty and the Jeep, uh, because there is no license. So you are saving a little bit of money here and there on some of the parts. But it's a great start for anybody. Uh, if you're getting into this hobby, the SCX24 is probably, in my opinion, one of the best models to start with if you're looking at the mini slash micro scale. Uh, lots of parts to upgrade with, and you're going to discover that as we get through this budget build-off. Uh, but there is a ton of great stuff uh, that can go into it, and it is already a pretty robust platform, uh, albeit in a much smaller package. That's what she said. I've already covered that budget does not mean cheap. Uh, obviously. Uh, but, you know, there are ways about it that you could be quite cheap and still do a lot of these upgrades. You don't have to do all of them, uh, certainly. And there are some cosmetic ones uh, to put our own spin on these that uh, will certainly maybe be beyond your skill level right now. But there is an opportunity for you to learn a lot from these series. So I definitely recommend that you like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring the notification bell so you get updates anytime there's a new video from the Scale Builders Guild. Uh, there will be eight videos in this series. There will be one week where we get free upgrades, where Josh and I don't have to spend any money. So actually, it's going to be 350 and not 400 So... Already we're saving money. One week will be a running video, uh, which is always challenging with the SX24. Uh, you don't need a ton of terrain. Uh, it's not great over gigantic obstacles. So uh, it's going to be fun to create a really creative little running video. I'm looking forward to that. And finally, the finale week will be upgrade and final running video. So it's sort of like a combo where we do one final upgrade and do one final running video. Uh, and the idea here is to not just increase performance, but also to add our creative spin on these trucks. There is a lot of things you can do. Uh, some other people have created things like the Micro Shark, which is a fantastic set of upgrades from Rex Racer, Mod 19. Uh, he's got a ton of great parts. As you can see, it's basically a fully tubed out cage buggy now. Um, I made mine up to look like a Marlon Crawler. Um, tons of upgrades go into this. I will put a link down below where you can check out all the upgrades on that. Uh, there are a ton of different ways you can go about this, and we're going to try to show off as many of them as we possibly can. And in this first week, uh, I'm not blowing the budget, which is what I usually do in these budget build-offs. I am keeping it under budget for week one because there are lots of parts coming in weeks later that I need to kind of save a tiny bit of cash for. So what are we doing this week? We are going to be adding some 
extra strength and some extra weight to the front of the truck. Uh, specifically, we are going to be adding the Yeah Racing steel front drive shafts. Uh, we're going to be increasing the strength there by adding those pieces. And we're also going to be adding the Yeah Racing brass front steering knuckles. Uh, because obviously brass is best. I've always said that. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this is sort of a performance week. We're just getting started. We're going to start at the bottom. I've got some great ideas for what I'm going to do in terms of the body. It will not be a Lexan shell for very much longer. Obviously, I'm ruining performance. But when has it ever been about performance for me? Never. <laughs> if you were going to do a budget build with the SCX24, where would you spend your money? Say you're following along and doing this budget build exactly the same way as Josh and I are and you've got 50 bucks a week to spend on it. Where would you spend it? I'm really curious to know what you might be thinking, so put a comment down below. All right, let's get right to installing these new parts. The SAX24 is a pretty great platform and um, I hope that this series demonstrates how many option parts are available for this truck. Uh, but let's start by getting these front wheels and tires off. So I'm going to start by removing the uh, ball end that holds the drag link in place. Uh, and then same thing for the knuckle. We're just going to undo that there. And, uh, you know, make sure you have the right tools for the job. They do include an Allen wrench in the RTR. So if you don't have the right tools, at least they get you started with something, which is fantastic. And by removing those two screws, we can pull the knuckle right off. There we go. And let's start by doing the steel drive shaft. So we can already start by pulling out the existing drive shaft that's in there now. Uh, can we? Yep, pops right out. As you can see, there's a significant difference between the original and the aftermarket. Some significant increase in diameter, which I think is only going to help. Uh, we'll still put that bearing on here in a second. Put it on the new axle shaft there, as you can see. This is also going to be a big challenge, I think, is um, making sure we have enough um, close-ups. <laughs> there we go. Put that back in place. We might as well replace the, uh, the brass pieces at the same time here, so let's get those out. The logo will appear right or left legible so now you know which side they go on okay so let's pull all the bearings off of our existing knuckle much heavier than the plastic stock one we'll put the bearings back in place bearings are a perfect fit which is fantastic and we'll put our new steel uh, out drive in there add our pin back in and put our hex back on top of that pin so we don't lose it. And now we're ready to install everything back into the axle. They do include, and this should be noted, they do include a couple of brass spacers, uh, which sort of act as sort of like a, a bushing rather than a bearing, but it is something that you sh definitely should be using. So make sure to place those in as well. Man, so many tiny pieces. Now, ultimately, this brass down low is going to help increase or, well, actually lower your center of gravity. So an increase in performance, but also uh, by proxy, your low, lower center of gravity is going to be nothing but a good thing on this truck. Make sure that that's moving freely. And then we can reinsert steering drag link there. There we go, that's one side all done. So we've got a nice brass uh, knuckle and brand new drive shafts. Fantastic. And you won't be able to spin this because it is a worm drive. So don't forget that. Don't try to spin your tires when it's not under power because it won't spin. And there we go. Now we can move on to the other side. I can already feel a significant weight increase on that front axle. Uh, that's definitely going to be helpful when pulling itself up over an obstacle, just keeping itself planted as it's going over. And now we repeat the process on the passenger side. Move our drag link 
remove our plastic knuckle or we'll remove our original axle shaft there replace it with our new steel drive shaft remove our hex remove our drive pin here's our new brass knuckle here add our bearings to that add our miniature little bushings there and replace our screws remember not to over tighten they should be tight uh, but not super tight so there is plenty of give so there's lots of steering angles still and we'll replace our steering drag link and put our wheel and tire back on that's our first set of upgrades for the axial scx24 completed for this week of the budget build you can already feel the difference there is so much more weight down low that i really feel like we've added a lot of performance for not a ton of money just having extra beefy steel drive shafts and all that brass in the knuckles is really going to aid in performance. I can definitely feel a difference. Okay, so tally for the first week. I spent $20.49 on the new steel front drive shafts. I also spent $24.99 on the SCX24 brass front steering knuckles for a grand total of $45.48 leaving me with $4.52 going into week two. I am already feeling quite good about this. Uh, there is a lot more to come on this budget build off and we're gonna pack a lot into this eight weeks. So I really hope that you will follow along and I hope that you're enjoying this series. Do you have an SCX24 at home? How many SCX24s do you have? Is this your first miniature or mini RC? Uh, and do you feel that there is a lot of potential in this smaller scale? Put your comments down below. You know I love reading through your feedback and I try to answer as many of them as I can. I'm sure Josh is also going to be adding a lot of brass over the coming weeks. It seems to be his new thing that he's really into. Uh, there will be a lot of cosmetic changes. So I hope you will stick around for those because I'm going to make this deadbolt into something entirely different. No not a speed car <laughs> that's been done and let's be honest at this scale what are we gonna get eight miles per hour anyway i hope you're enjoying this series there's a lot more to come please stick around thank you so much for watching we'll see you again next week